As a public affairs officer, I have the opportunity to advise on external and internal communications for the wing. So everyone from the wing commander down to your airmen. But I also have the opportunity to communicate outside the gates. So we interact with our community through a number of programs and we invite media on base to cover stories and events and we get to educate them and in turn educate the American people on what we do. So all around um, communicating the Air Force Reserve story to our airmen and our country. I've only been in the Air Force Reserve for about four months. I came from active duty Air Force and I was a public affairs officer on active duty and made that transition uh, just for the, our family and what we felt was best and I wanted to continue to serve and so I had the opportunity to do that in the reserve. Well, as a member of the reserve, I was able to uh, continue things such as education benefits. I am going to get my master's <laughs> as well, and that's a goal of mine to get that in strategic communication. So that is on the horizon for me, and I know that the benefits that I have, uh, education benefits, are a huge part of allowing me to do that. I also have access to health benefits uh, from, for myself and my family, so that's a wonderful thing to have uh, the access to. And then also for me, just to, to continue to do this job that I really love and to have a team of airmen, uh, photojournalists and broadcasters that I get to work with and, uh, and the wing leadership as well. So it's a lot of personal satisfaction as well as some of the tangible benefits that you gain from being a member of the reserve. Well, I was a public relations manager for a company here in Atlanta, and I actually just recently was picked up to be an Air Reserve technician. So I'll be working full time as a government civilian for the Air Force Reserve, and then I'll continue to maintain my military status with the reserve as well. I think my favorite part about being in the Air Force Reserve is getting the opportunity to tell the story of citizen airmen. So a lot of people don't realize that someone they may interact with on a daily basis or a neighbor um, or just someone that they know is in the reserve. And so um, it's, it's good for us to have the opportunity to tell that story and to educate people and let them know that they may know or interact with uh, or even be related to someone who's in the military, but they might not see that on a daily basis. And so I think it's really important that we communicate that to the country, that we have these uh, airmen among us who aren't always recognized as airmen, but they do this job in addition to doing other things in their communities and for civilian companies.